I remember very well when I got the phone call from the provost of the university talking with me about the possibility of taking up the role as dean at UBC. And I had this flood of emotions that uh, ranged from uh, you know, joy and uh, a real sense of um, kind of feeling honored by the opportunity to come be a part of this law school and this university. When I joined UBC, I had a lot of ideas about things that the law school could do to support students, to support faculty research, and to engage with the community. But one of the exciting parts about being dean is that you have the opportunity to learn from so many groups and to bring people with different views together and create entirely new visions, uh, which in this case uh, were extraordinarily ambitious for the school uh, and which it ended up being a great joy to be able to work with so many people to help to accomplish. The one word I'd use to describe Marianne, stunning. Elevating. Dedicated. Understated. Sense of humor. Generous. Relentless. In a good way. Determined. Open and inclusive. Focused. So my impression of Marianne is that she has this eye for how the pieces of the puzzle are going to come together. That she knows long before really any one else does where things are headed and what needs to be done strategically to reach a good result. Because of someone like Dean Bobinski that, that one is encouraged. One's encouraged to say, well, I can make a difference. Or through a little bit of help, we can collectively make a difference. And it's Dean Bobinski's encouragement and her, and her emphasis on community that, that, that gets people there. When she first came here, she felt that we needed and we deserved a new building and nothing was going to stop her from their achieving that goal come hell or high water, and here we are. A lot of the things we're doing and the dreams we can have about what we wanted to do with this law school, that's the difference that Marianne makes, is that she does all the hard work behind the scenes so we get to dream big. She had a vision and she charged forward. I think she's established a much higher level platform for present and future law students so that they can learn and develop and make significant contributions for many years to come. Through her leadership, the school has really become a place where I think, and I'm confident in saying, that students feel comfortable going and attending, sharing their ideas and learning. She has been open from the day I walked into the building and said, hi, I'm Leona. And uh, she said, well, come in and have a chat. Um, it, and it's very important to the Musqueam community to have the recognition here since we're one of the most litigious bands in the country. It's kind of nice to be recognized within the law school itself. Well, I think the relationship between uh, the law school and the legal community outside the law school has become uh, very enriched and uh, there is a much closer and um, supportive relationship uh, between them as a result of Dean Babinski's uh, efforts as Dean. So I think our profile nationally and internationally has improved considerably since, we've, since she's been here as Dean. I think one of the things that, that she's done is taken a really good law school and made other people aware of how good we are. And so our reach across Canada and across North America and across the world has really improved. She's been um, just spectacular in the space that she's created. The Ellard gift and the naming of the law school will have a lasting impact. But, but really, each generation um, pushes it a little bit farther. And, uh, and ultimately, it's the people that, um, that create that environment, the great students, the great staff and faculty. And that will be her legacy. So as part of the Allard School of Law, we're always keenly aware of the important roles that lawyers play in society. And the responsibility that we have is a gateway to the profession. Um, and part of that has to do with recruiting the best students and providing student financial aid and, and things like that. But the other part is looking at our programs and what are we teaching students about what law is and what lawyers do. And that's part of why we have the focus that we have on ethics and integrity and on transparency and accountability on the rule of law, the way in which our graduates are going to be responsible for helping to safeguard human rights in our communities and around the world. Probably one of the most important things we did was to work with a broad community to create the law school's strategic plan. We were able to take draft plans and share them with the broader community, whether or not 
benchers of the Law Society or members of the judiciary or uh, our alumni organization, our advisory groups, uh, and really tried to create an open process where we could think together about what the school had accomplished and what we could accomplish with strong support. Dean Babinski, congratulations on the end of what has been a wonderful 12 years. I'm not going to say goodbye because I know you're going to have many more years here as a professor. You've shown such confidence in my abilities that it's really helped me step up to the plate and be the kind of student leader that I knew that I could be. So thank you for that. Marianne, you've been an incredibly supportive and caring Dean and thank you for your generosity to me and to all of us. Thank you. I'd like to say thank you for, for making UBC Law a wonderful place to be, to work, to live and to turn into a place where we have endless possibilities for the future. Mary, I'd like to thank you for your years of contribution to the uh, development of the law school, the consultation with First Nations, with, uh, with other faculties and the dynamism that you've brought to the law school. Um, I, I really appreciate that and I will miss your presence here. Thank you for all your contributions. I would like to thank Dean Babinski for her encouragement. Uh, Dean, I, th I believe that you've encouraged all of us to be better. You've encouraged uh, in a level of engagement amongst the legal profession uh, and a level of engagement with the broader community uh, that makes all of us better. Thank you, Marianne. She gets the best ideas, she draws the conclusions, and then she moves forward. And she does it in a very collaborative way. Everybody gets their, their say, and then she just does it. And it's the people in the world that are not only leaders, but the people that can execute the ideas that are ones that are few and far between. The best things that a dean can bring to the job are a sense of irony and a sense of humor and you have both in spades. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. We'll miss you and congratulations. So there's no doubt I'm gonna miss being Dean. It's an amazing honor and opportunity. One of the great things about where the Allard School of Law is right now uh, is it's this wonderful uh, combination of excellence and ambition uh, that, that people can look with pride at, at what has been built thanks to the efforts of students and faculty and staff and strong community support and that we've got this uh, sort of strong engine of engagement with the external community that in essence is just ready to go. It's that ambition uh, that will fuel tremendous opportunities for this law school in the future uh, with all those groups working together and with a real sense of what the Allard School of Law has done and can do here and around the world.